Hi, it's Mr. H. And um, for this video, I just want to show you how to make sense of this GarageBand file that has multiple tracks. And you're going to end up recording on this file as well. Um, so what we're looking at is, again, a GarageBand file. It has one, two, three, four, five different um, recordings on it. Okay, and what you'll want to be able to do when you make your recording is maybe just choose one of these to listen to, or you can listen to the whole thing. Um, I'll just play it for you a little bit and you can hear what all the tracks sound like together. Okay, so if you want, you can just listen to that and record your part along with, with what you just heard. And that basically has all the different parts in it um, for the song, the A line, the B line, the C line, um, and the percussion down here. And then all horns is actually all of these three put together, but without percussion. So let's say you're just going to record the A line, and that's really all you want to hear. You don't want to hear all these other tracks. So what we're going to do is you go up to this right up here. It gives you more information about each track. And as you click on uh, each track, um, everything you see over here will relate to it. All right. And there's a lot of stuff over here that you don't really need to worry about. The, the main things here that you're concerned about are these two buttons right here. So the head, this one over here, uh, that's a mute button. And what it does is make that track silent. And the headphones is what is called a solo. And if you press this one, you'll only hear that track. Okay, so if I just click on the headphones, you'll notice it grays out everything else. And now if I hit play, the only thing you're going to hear is this track, which is the A line plus uh, the music that it's recorded along with, but you'll only hear the A line. Okay, so if you're recording the A-line, you might want to just hear that. All right, and if I turn off the solo, then you'll see it, it brings everything back. These are sort of opposite buttons. Um, if Just to show you, if I hit mute, now all the other tracks will play except for the A-line. All right, so these are sort of opposite buttons and you can use them however you want. Uh, the solo one, probably is the one you'll use the most. So then if I would like to maybe just do the C line, I'll select the C line and solo it by clicking here. And now when I hit play, you'll just hear the C line. Okay, so that's that's how you use all this. You'll just want to go up to this button here where you get, and that's going to give you more information on all the tracks. And then um, select the track that you want to record with, solo it, and then that's what you'll hear when you record. Okay, now I'll just super fast, I'll remind you how to record, but there's a whole video on this. Um, basically, you need headphones and uh, to, uh, to do this, but you would just add a track down here with the plus button, hit instrument. And we don't want this echo on right here, this room, I would turn that down. And you can leave basically everything else the way that it is. And uh, again, I'm gonna go back up here so I can see the different, oops, sorry, I'm gonna go here so I can see all the different tracks. And now this is the new track that I just added, and that's the one I'll record to. And when I'm recording, I'll, I'll just hit the record button. And let's just see how this goes. So now I'm recording. 
and I'll just stop it. Um, I didn't have an instrument, so I just sort of talked. Again, I'm hitting that button to bring it back. And you can see that I recorded here. So you should hear me talk again. Let's just play it one more time. All right, so that was kind of quiet. Um, but you know what I could do is mute this just to make sure it works or solo this track. So I'm gonna hit the headphones and solo it. And then we can hear if um, I actually record it. I'm gonna stop talking. So now I'm recording onto this track. All right, and that's basically it. You can see that that recorded when I talked. Um, I'm gonna hit this twice and delete it because we don't need it. Oops, let me hit delete. But that's what you'll do. And if you need more information on how to record, um, please check out the other video for recording on GarageBand. Okay, hope this helps and we'll see you next time.